Stevens. If you didn't know that, I'm Daniel Stevens. Welcome to Sports Appreciation Club. Greatest show brought to you from my couch because I haven't got anyone to talk to about sports. We got a good show for you this week. Sports Appreciation Club. NBA news. We are now into the conference playoffs for the NBA Finals. Yes! In the West, we have the Golden State Warriors versus Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. And in the East, we have LeBron James' Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Toronto Drakes. Sorry, the Toronto Raptors. Predictions! Steven Adams does have a great moustache, but I gotta go Golden State Warriors. And six. Warriors and six. The Cleveland Cavaliers have won all their games so far in the playoffs. I think they might do it again against the Raptors. Cleveland and four. Also, last week, Steph Curry, who's the MVP of my heart, won the NBA MVP for the second straight year. However, the MVP of the press conference was his daughter. <laughs> but uh, the support that you've given me as well, um, it takes a village to raise. So cute. Your UFC news. The UFC has a new heavyweight champion, and his name is Miochik. And he comes from... Cleveland? I guess Cleveland had their first champion. Weird. Miochik won in the first round after Verdun walked into this great train of a punch. Holy shit, it hurts your foot, hurts your leg. Fabrizio aggressively attacking. Oh, that's it! It's all yeah! Also, earlier that night, the scariest woman in the world, Cyborg, had a UFC debut. She is terrifying. That's exactly what I like. Yeah, yeah. And from one fighting story to another, let's look at baseball. Over the weekend, a game versus the Blue Jays and the Texans had to be suspended to break the players up because they got into an actual fight. This wasn't one of those chest bumping, hold me back type scenarios, they threw punches. Batista did a late slide into second to stop the double play. Odor didn't like it got up and wailed on him. Bautista got the worst of that exchange. Rudin said, nope. Whoa. Right. This is almost as good as the Tamo Punch. Tamo Punch, pow! Any chance to celebrate Tamo Punch. Tamo Punch, pow! Another reason you gotta love baseball. They hit balls hard, they throw balls hard. People get smacked in the face if you're being a little bitch. Very sad news this week. The NFL dream of Jared Hayne is dead. For all the NRL bros, this one's for you. And it seems to me you lived your life like a candle in the wind. Never fading with the sunset when the rain set in. Your footsteps will always fall here Along England's greenest hills Your candles burned out long before Your legend ever will Australian could go over, not play it, just go, like, look boys, you little pussies, this is how you play it. I really wanted him to have a good career. Your NFL career died too soon. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> but all is not lost. The dream machine Jared Hayne just gave up NFL to focus on his true passion, the Fijian Olympic Sevens team. But it might not be that easy for him to compete because you have to spend six months of drug testing before you can go to Rio. And he doesn't have that amount of time. Fingers crossed they can figure out a way to let Jared Hain play in his true passion, the Fijian Olympic Sevens team. And then maybe he might get back to his second passion being paid under the table by Parramatta. So that's been the show. I'm Daniel Stevens. This has been Sports Appreciation Club. Thanks for checking it out. Give us a subscribe if you haven't done so already. I know you haven't. I've got very few subscribers. I'm really desperate.
like a boss. Appreciation Club. Tamo Punch 